So, you know, as uh, Arpit articulated, you know, we've broken down our networking market segments into three. I'll focus on the in-rack portion, and I'm Amit. I'm a director of product management. I focus closest to the servers because I have a background of server storage and networking. And uh, as you see in this slide, you know, we are trying to make sure at Dell, given that we are an end-to-end company who sells server storage networking, we develop ref architectures, we develop solutions, that entail all of the above. And so we focused on you know, small, medium, and large kind of uh, reference architectures for customers so that they can deploy their workload, their applications on infrastructure that includes server storage and networking. So I want to highlight the fact that you know, we focus on solutions where we integrate networking with servers, with storage, as well as test them with applications, whether it's VDI, whether it's Hadoop, whether it's uh, you know other kinds of solutions, HPC environments and so on. Similarly, we do that for campus, and Suresh is going to go cover that in more detail. So let's go into you know a couple of things that we are focused on. Right, one is uh, you know we uh, as you can see in terms of the server access layer architectures, we believe in promoting and helping uh, customers get the best out of networking in server access layer as opposed to the traditional legacy model where you know there is a fabric extender model this is kind of a mux model where io from all servers are taken out from the rack back into a switch so which basically we believe is not the right architecture right it means muxing all of this you basically have more hops as you go from you know either a blade chassis or a top of the rack switch to the next layer uh, more latencies more cables because of more cables, it's more expensive because you have to buy more ports here. We don't believe this is the right architecture in today's environment, particularly because you know lots of the I/O, as Gartner says, or if you talk to any of the large customers, Facebook, uh, you know any of the large enterprises, with growth of so many VMs, you can run 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 VMs on one server. A rack full of servers, you can run hundreds or up to even thousands of VMs. To 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 talk to each other, if you have to take I/O you know two hops out and bring them back that's not the architecture we want and and as we talk to customers you know we find this resonates quite well so we've we've been doing that we introduced somebody asked how did we integrate force 10 into dell one of the first things we did is we took force 10 technology and inserted it into the blade chassis the m1000 that product has done incredibly incredibly well uh, you know that's one of our highest runners in terms of sales so that along with any top of the rack switch. So this is something that we do. We believe it has architectural benefits as well as TCO benefits. Okay. Um, we also believe in I/O convergence, right? Uh, as customers deploy, you know, storage and networking, Ethernet, and if they particularly deploy fiber channel, we now have solutions such that from a blade chassis you can split. LAN and SAN separately, and many customers like that because you know SAN administrators and LAN administrators are often separate teams, and they want to be able to manage them separately. So we allow from a blade chassis to be able to split LAN and SAN. Similarly, if you have a rack server, we also allow that to happen on our S5000. So this is works very well, and we basically launched a new product which allows you to do that that's called the fiber channel fc fiber uh, uh, flex io module that goes inside our mxl or ioa which is blade switch inside the uh, blade chassis and you can see some of those products that are sitting out there later on uh, in terms of connectivity you know we have uh, connectivity going up could be 10 gig could be 40 gig for more high demanding applications and uh, we offer more bandwidth both for Ethernet and fiber channel compared to the competition. The other thing I want to highlight is this uh, product that we've uh, had for some time now called the S5000. So this is a converged product, modular, highly modular, four modular slots that allows you to, uh, to, to, to integrate both LAN and SAN. 
and uh, what we find is you know often our customers so they may have really large sands or many of the customers have a sand that is sitting in maybe two or three racks of servers so if you see here you know they have say compellent arrays as you know we dell sell uh, storage fc storage so they may have an array and then they may have one or two or three racks of servers and they want that storage to be close to the server <coughs> and this is kind of a model where as opposed to a model where all your storage sits in a glass house and you basically go through a traditional uh, brocade or a cisco san environment so we support that also now in addition to supporting that we also support if a customer often customers want a complete solution from one vendor and so in this case we are able to sell this complete solution which includes the fabric services so you know a server here can log into uh, the network the sand network a small network where you can have the target the array so this is a solution that we find resonates quite well in many of our customers that are either mid size customers or a large enterprise that may have isolated sands because you know they want to dedicate this for say a vdi deployment so they may roll in couple of racks for doing vdi or they may have uh, another deployment for some other kind of application so they want to keep this kind of completely one kind of two or three racks dedicated to that solution so this works quite well and and we are seeing quite a bit of interest in that so i'll i'll pause on that and see if you have any questions and this is so now we can do a complete lan san uh, storage plus ethernet solution whether it's fc whether it's iscsi you know uh, we didn't include any information on iscsi but we at dell are the largest uh, sellers of iscsi you know ecologic as you may know we have done also optimizations for iscsi where we can auto detect iscsi arrays and set up the switch configuration so those are things that we also do so with this we have fc and iscsi and you know nfs uh sifs kind of solution any any questions on this okay are you selling those racks um as a single sku that a customer can order preconfigured or you know that's a good question so we don't have fixed sku's because as you may realize that customers always want to have special needs of no it's not 10 rack 10 servers i want 15 servers so you know we we test them but we don't have a single sku because as you know you know customers needs are different some may need 10 servers some may need 12 some may need one array some may need two arrays amount of memory may be different so it's not quite the v block model then it's not the v block it's more like the flex pod yeah so flex pod is much more flexible so this is very similar to that um the other thing that uh, you know we announced uh, recently and we've been shipping this for now is this new switch called s6000 so this is as you all know the latest uh, asic from broadcom uh, trident 2 so couple of key things that we've done one you we focused quite a bit on energy efficiency so we brought in the same technology that our servers support today which is called fresh air so fresh air means you can run those servers and this switch without air conditioning you know at normal temperatures so this it has ready rails so focus on you know easy ease of kind of deployment and in a energy efficient way this is targeted at uh, kind of it has higher table sizes so it 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 is ideal for kind of larger deployments and it's got capabilities such as vxlan that helps you in new virtualized environments so this is one that integrates with nsx to do the l2 gateway right so this is something that we've uh, we've introduced quite a bit of interest in the customer base and with uh, this s6000 we can now in terms of deployment uh, be deployed in different environments so it can be either top of the rack middle of the row or end of row you know most of you probably know that you know end of row used to be the most popular till we get got the fixed form factor switches and now this enables you to do even a middle of row because of the size the number of ports that it can support you can actually have three two or four racks of servers and 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 aggregate it into this uh, s6000 it helps you minimize the number of switches to manage and and it's an ideal deployment for that so we see all three of those deployments 
as we talk to customers for this environment and not only that given that it's a 10 slash 40 gig it can also be deployed in the spine layer as well not only in the leaf but also the spine okay so potentially multi-purpose kind of solution with that um any any questions I have a quick question, <clears throat> and I just don't know the product line that well, but you had mentioned that with your blade chassis, you've integrated Force 10 technology. Are those strictly uplinks, or is that is there a fabric on the back of that chassis that's allowing you to do switching between server modules? Correct. It is a switch that switches between server modules uh, within the chassis, so and it has uplinks. So your it allows you traffic stress. stays in chassis. Correct. And that is one of the key things. So one, you can have all the servers talk to one another. Second, we can also stack multiple of these blade chassis so not only within the within the chassis but across chassis also stays within the rack how many what's the max chassis stack out on that so we can do up to six six of these chassis can be stacked together with a unified backbone that with it with the 40 gig yeah with 40 gig with 40 gig connectivity between and the then chassis. 40 gig out of each one of those upbound correct so so the so our our switch supports 10 gig down multiple 10 gigs in fact so you can have up to 40 gig go to a server for 10 gig and then it can go we can support multiple 40 gig 6 40 gig coming out of each one of the switches and you can use part of them to stack up to six chassis so depending it, it offers you huge amount of flexibility and huge amount of scale and bandwidth okay. is that static connectivity I, I'm not familiar with it either in terms of connectivity to the blades so can I like could I over, over provision one workload and maybe under provision another? So so typically in any blade chassis, it depends on the number of lanes that you have back to the server mm -hmm. to the mid plane. So we today support up to four uh, 10 gig going to each of the server slots. Okay. So you can have up to 40 gig going to each of the blades. Okay, and that's a, the so that's plane. a max per slot. That's the max per slot. Okay. Right. And then depending on how you want to configure it, you either stack it up or not stack it and have uplinks go out. Sure. And, and huge amount of scale and bandwidth. Okay. Good.